who is one of the absolutely ridiculous human beings that would spend twenty three hundred dollars on a router this guy right here i'm i'm that person oh man we're talking orby we're talking a twenty three hundred dollar orby mesh system let's get to it what up everybody it's george langabeer with silver hammer surveillance once again coming to you from voltage studio here on the channel we talk smart home tech we talk home security we have videos weekly follow me on the social specifically instagram where i give you a little insight into the man behind silver hammer surveillance we give you some inside scoop on smart home stuff home security stuff my life your life whatever just check us out on instagram it's a good time please all right today we're talking wi-fi and man, in the smart home world and the home security world with Wi-Fi cameras now, Wi-Fi is so important. I think we're rocking, I don't know, 100 and some 200 smart home devices here. And it's so important to me. Go back and check out our smart home tour and you'll see all that in action. So check that out. But yeah, it's so important to me. Now, I was coming from an Orbi mesh system, which was Wi-Fi 6E. And now Orbi's got the 970 series with Wi-Fi 7. And of course, I was going to be the sucker to try it. And I paid for it with my own money, $2,300. Even in this small apartment, of course, I had to do all three mesh routers. Of course I did. So that's what I did. I bought it. I pre-ordered it. It's here. I've been trying it for a while. So I'm going to unbox it, show you that. We're going to talk some specs. And then I'm going to give you my initial thoughts. Now, as far as router comparisons, after a week, I can't tell you that anything blown me away, but I'm going to give you my initial thoughts. So let's start with the unboxing and go from there. we're talking some specs on the Orbi 970 all right 360 whole home coverage designed for superior reliability in every direction no matter the home layout we got flawless 4k to 8k streaming video conferencing and more for up to 200 devices at once so perfect for voltage studio should be anyway 10 gig Wi-Fi for the whole home quad band Wi-Fi with enhanced dedicated backhaul 10 gig WAN and LAN ports unleash the fastest internet speeds and wired performance. Patented new antenna design, more power from the front door to the backyard and the basement to the rooftop. Create separate networks to optimize overall performance. You got a guest network, home network, and an IoT network. So you can do all three. Multi-link operation, Orbi Wi-Fi 7 uses two bands at once to increase speed and reliability. So with Wi-Fi 6E, you got five gigahertz or six gigahertz. And with Wi-Fi 7, 5 gigahertz and 6 gigahertz, even though there's only like one device that does Wi-Fi 7, of course, this is all going to get better as time goes on, but, um, but it's cool that this is Wi-Fi 7. Preamble puncturing. Smart interference management greatly reduces network congestion. And with this, you can get Netgear Armor, which is Netgear's security suite. And the most painful spec, the price. Oh my goodness, the price. This is insane, Netgear. It's truly insane. All right, so a two-pack in white 
is $16.99.99. A two-pack in black, $16.99.99. And by the way, I think the blacks are already sold out in the first round, so I'm glad I got those because I love the black version. A three-pack is $22.99.99. Now, it's probably overkill here, but I went for it because I had three of the last one. I'm going to have three of this one. It is what it is. You can get an add-on satellite for $8.99.99. But man, that's the most painful amount of money I think I've ever handed over for any sort of device. I mean, even my Mac Studio, I, this was insanely expensive. I think my Wi-Fi 6E version was $14.99. So we've jumped up to $22.99.99. So with that being said, let's talk about my initial impressions and build quality and all that and whether or not I think it's worth it so far. First of all, build quality, this thing feels premium and it should for $22.99.99. Size-wise, you saw in the unboxing, you can see them here. They're big. They're very tall. The pictures, it was hard to judge what it was going to look like, but man, it's tall. Now it's narrower than the last model, but it's taller. And so you got to have the right spot to put them. So just keep that in mind, whether you do one or two or three or whatever it may be, but it does feel very premium. And again, should for the price. Performance wise, this is where it's so hard to do a review on a router because you can only say so much. I can tell you I've had zero problems with any of my devices since I installed this. Um, Apple Home, you know, every device that I've got in there has been working flawlessly. No connectivity issues. Of course, I've got iPad OS 17 and iOS 17, and you'd like to think some of that has to do with it. But I have had zero issues with this router so far. Again, shouldn't for the price. I can't really tell you that much difference between this one and the last one because it's just not noticeable. So that's where it's just hard to give my true review of that. Um, but the, the key thing is um, for $14.99 compared to $22.99, I'm not blown away yet. Now with Wi-Fi 7, of course, that's going to blow our minds. It's what they're telling us. This, a lot of things are going to be coming our way and a lot of new devices and all that stuff. Once that happens, we'll really see what this beast is all about. And hopefully it is just that a beast because it's going to need to be to justify that price. So right now, I can't tell you that it's worth upgrading until we've got more Wi-Fi 7 devices. Of course, I'm on YouTube and I'm a security and smart home guy, and that's what I do for a living. So of course, I got to try this stuff for the masses and for our customers here. But I just can't tell you that uh, if you've got an, a pretty decent Orbi already or another router that's decent, just wait until there's more Wi-Fi 7 devices before you shell out $22.99. Also, there's several other Wi-Fi 7 routers out now, you know, TP-Link, much cheaper than this. I've tried a couple of them, and until those Wi-Fi 7 devices come out, I can't tell you any difference. Now, I will tell you the TP-Link I tried, I did have some issues with, and I returned it right away. This one I have not. So anyway, take that for what it's worth. But again, we're talking $700 compared to $22.99. That TP-Link was $700. There's another one for $500. Um, this one's just crazy, crazy expensive, um, but we'll see. Also, the Orbi app, there's not much to say there. There's not much has changed. Um, I'm not a gigantic fan of the Orbi app. It does what it needs to do. You got your speed test in there. You can see your devices. You can rename your devices, all that good stuff. But all I can tell you is when I go to that speed test, I am truly getting $9.99 up and $9.99 down, paying for gigabit internet here. So I'm getting exactly what I'm paying for. And that's what's helping me with all these devices in my home. So I'm getting what I need to. But yeah, the Orbi app is what it is. Nothing changed for this router. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, these are my initial thoughts. Again, I will do a more full review when we got some more Wi-Fi 7 devices to really put this thing to the test. But until then, it is what it is. But I just wanted to share this because again, it's on pre-order. The white one's still out there and available, but if you want the black one, I think the next date is October 6th, which is just a few days from now. So anyway, all right, let me know in the comments, how insane am I for spending that much money on a router? I still can't believe I did it. And I still can't believe they're selling it for that much. But uh, again, it better blow us away here shortly. But yeah, let me know in the comments, did you pre-order one? 
were you thinking about it were you on the fence or is that price just like heck no what router are you using should i try another one I, again i got to get my money's worth here I, i'm not going to return it or anything but i'll always test another one just for a bit let me know all right so let me know in the comments smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we love having you here whether you're new or returning or whatever it may be thank you for your support you're all wonderful till the next video peace and love